This is the video you've all been waiting for. The Jaguar XJ has an MOT and I'm going to be taking it on a road trip to Caffeine and Machine. And to join me on this road trip, I thought I'd ask Mike along. Hello. Eight hour yeah. round trip, 400 miles in this Jaguar. And we've not done any kind of driving in the Jaguar. I've literally done about 30 to 40 miles since having it. And now I'm going to drive it 400 miles. What do you think, Mike? I reckon it's going to be fine. I reckon that this V8 motor is just going to cruise, apart from the clunk. Sure, it'll be fine. We're going to be motorway driving. And it seems to be yeah. fine on this kind of flatter ground. It's only around like, well, this. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's not quite so good. There's horses. We're going to go lose our virginity to it. Because, Mike, you've not been either, have you? No, I haven't, no. No, I've I not been either. The Their pizzas are really good. Yeah. I Sorry, think... I, I'm a fat boy. Talk about food. So we're going to be going off in this car, but first, Mike's going to be doing his own video because you're going to be driving my V8 Jaguar. Yeah, um, little review. Little uh, review. Well, ish. I mean, yes. I've never driven a V8 before, Jay. I wanted to. It's not too bad. Oh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Oh, sorry, mate. That's left foot braking. <laughs> oh. Maybe we won't try and burn out. Maybe we'll just drive it really nicely. Yeah, maybe we'll just... <laughs> I'll talk yourself down a bit, by the way. This is a celebration, Jay. It is a celebration. Well done. You yeah. saved this car from being in a scrapyard somewhere, man. Okay, I, I, I very I, big props to you. I did all right. After a small detour. I thought you said you knew this area. I did, but we took a wrong turn, evidently. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> we were finally on our way. Finally things to keep us occupied. And the car was running great too. We are going to be going through our entire car history. It's amazing, it's still going. It's still going. How far have we done, Mike? Not that far. No, uh, 20 miles. <laughs> It's driving well, man. It feels like it it's a it's a right little wafty boy. I just did a fart. Sorry. Okay. Oh no. Should I put the reset on? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like a dead cat. This is where this car belongs. Yes. That big low compression V8 just going Bawr! going past the orange elephant. Anyone who's southern will know what that means. The orange elephant with the ice cream. Though. He's got an ice cream now. Yeah. Chewing up the miles. As long as you can back roll the fuel, you're fine. I will say the one thing that uh, even though I'm not driving, I wish worked. There's that cruise control. Yes. Just pushing that button and then you'd be in true Jaguar waftiness. Yes. Even your 80s XJS had fucking cruise control. It did. Fuck me. Jesus. I thought we were actually going to fucking die then. What? Oh, he's picking his fucking nose. I honestly, every time I think back at you have fixed this and put it on, I know I keep saying it and blowing smoke up your ass, but like, that is fucking insane. What's that big fucking, is that the spray hose kicking out from it? Yes. That looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we've only got about 45 minutes or so until we get to Caffeine and Machine. The Jag's been doing really, really well. We've been doing a few videos on the way up. So check those out on Mike's channel. So we are, what have we done? We're 30 miles away, Mike. So we've probably done 170 miles today in this car. Okay. Because it's 200 miles each way, isn't it? Yeah. You know, which, when you think that this car's probably not done that kind of mileage, maybe in years. It's true. Uh, I think it's going to do a lot less in the immediate future. The knock is kind of sporadic, shall we say. Is that the word? Yeah, I actually forgot about it for a moment there. Because been, we've been on the motorway yeah. for so long, it's just not been a thing. But then we came off and then it was like, bang, 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 bang. Put it into sport mode. You put it in, what's that? I don't know, I wanted to try it. That one there. Yeah, what does it do? What does this button do? We are leaving that lovely blue sky behind us and we are heading towards... <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, yes, it is raining, but if you look beyond the rain, at the cloud, there's a bit of blue there, you see the blue! But for right now, the rain. Here we go, we are at Caffeine and Machine. The XJ was literally perfect. Literally. Apart from the knock, it was perfect. Yeah, it's true. Um, it just cruised along the whole time. Yeah. The temperature gauge is a bit questionable. Yeah, it didn't thing. It didn't overheat. It wasn't even ever dangerous. It just went up and down for no reason. Yeah, but not even like extreme. It no. was just kind of in the middle. Line. I wonder, thermostat dodgy maybe? Maybe, who cares? Who cares? It. it was 200 miles, four hour trip pretty much, wasn't it? Plus a few extra little bits we did with 
with you around that uh, reservoir. Yes, so, yeah, indeed, yeah, yeah. It's not the cheapest car to run in the world. No, I've already used like nearly three quarters of a tank, so that's nearly 75 quid one way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it in you 50 pounds. That's quite a lot, isn't it? It is a little bit, it is a little uh, bit. So but it's like 150 quid for a round trip. But yeah. It is what it is. You've got to do these things. It's, what, um, it's the you price know. you pay for performance. At the end of the day, it's not even got performance for really, though, is it? <laughs> It's pokey, but at it's the pokey. end, it is pokey. But at the end of the day, it was six hundred pounds. Yeah, and now we're here. We're here. Oh, well, I say only six hundred pounds plus all the welding, all the time, and all the effort. But yeah, and you've already had a chat with someone who has an XJS. Yeah, he had an XJS, and then he was looking at the XJ, and I was, and you were like, oh, he's got to be the XJS, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was looking at a Jack. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's so, a Jack. It was very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. My arm hurts, Jay. Oh, okay. All right. In that case, see you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Subscribe to Tires and Cheers. So, a bit of a detour on the way home because Mike really wanted to see Diddley Squat. I've never seen it before. It's there now. Yeah, Diddley Squat Farm over there, look. So yeah, a bit of a detour, but the Jag again is running lovely. The temperature gauge still right, is baffling me because it's kind of still very cold. It's up, then it's down. It's yes, then yeah. it's down. Oh, and so by the way, we actually filled up again. So I filled up when I left Cornwall and I've just filled up another 84 pounds. I don't think this car is very fuel efficient. Actually, I can show you how fuel efficient it is. Look at that, so 96,000 miles, 291 miles. There's a range of 374, that's not bad. Use 12.6 gallons of fuel. Average fuel consumption, 23. And there we have it guys, the end of our journey at 97,003 miles. The trip was nearly 500 miles today. 23 and a half mile per gallon average. If that's not great, is it? And 47 mile per gallon average speed. So it just goes to show you can have some fun in a 600 pound Jaguar if you're willing to put some work in to get it on the road.